I'm Paula Blank. I'm president at Southern New Hampshire University. I think at the heart of our American myth, and I use myth in the most positive sense, right, our American narrative, is the American success story, right? That where you are born does not condemn you to where you will spend the rest of your life. So it's the Horatio Alger story, it's the, we, these are abundant, we know them well. They're really sort of in our DNA. But the reality in America increasingly is that that story is less and less available to our poor citizens. So Pew did a study not so long ago that revealed that if you are born into the bottom two quintiles of socioeconomic classes in America, there's a 60% chance you will live your whole life and die in relative poverty. Um, and in fact now, you would be better born in any part of Scandinavia, in Canada, in France, in Germany. Think about that. These countries that, you know, continental Europe, these are societies that we think are calcified in terms of class, where um, there is very little movement that, you know, where you are born is your destiny. But in fact, better that you be born a poor child in France today in terms of social mobility than to be a poor child in America. It's sort of breathtaking if you sit back and just digest that for a moment. And what we know is that education gives you a three times better chance of escaping poverty than anything else. But that's the mission, right? That is, that's why we have to fix this broken industry, which is not serving poor Americans and is feeding the wealth and equity gap. And from an international perspective, is going to prevent us from being able to compete, to retain our advantage as a culture and an economy. I read somewhere that Lockheed Martin will retire more engineers in the next five years than American engineering programs will produce. We've got to educate more people. And, and a lot depends on our ability to figure out how to do that and to figure it out pretty quickly.